Yeah, you want to go diving around in my dumpster, do you? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Probably shouldn't treat a customer that way, but you know what? He's not going to thaw out to give me a bad review. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and in this week's episode we are going to be returning to the dine out pack as I'm sure you guys remember last episode we opened Shea sauce we hired a bunch of employees and set the menu and all that stuff and we had our opening day and it didn't go that well we had a lot of failures and I blame a lot of those failures on the employees because they were not properly trained hell in the end they didn't even show up to work. I was not very impressed. So, this episode, I have fired all of those employees, I've brought in a whole new squad that I think you guys are really going to enjoy, and we are going to make Shea Sauce a success. And that starts by adding a bidet to all of our toilets. Because nothing says success like having your butthole sprayed. So let's not waste any time, it's 10.30 in the morning, I think that means we're going to close around 6.30. I want to keep it open for 8 hours at a time, because I want to treat my employees well. I actually like these employees, and I'll show you why. I'm actually really proud that I managed to figure out how to make this work. I will say, because I know so many people are going to ask, you can hire whoever you want in this game. But the way that it works is, the Dine Out Pack prioritizes hiring homeless sims. And if you don't have any homeless sims, then it'll generate them. So, the really, the only way to do it was, I would have to move everybody out of their households and delete all of my homeless sims, hire whoever I want, and then move them back in. So if you want to do it, that's how you're going to manage to do it. That is how we got somebody like Bigfoot here working for us. Bigfoot, your hands are looking uh, awfully not hairy. That's good though. I wanted him to shave because I didn't want him to get uh, hair in the food. We have Smurfette as a waitress, we have Sailor Jupiter as our hostess, and <laughs> we have Old Pimp, you're, oh, you're Master Roshi and you're Old Pimp working in the kitchen. The only two elders in our entire series are working in the kitchen because that is how much experience, you need at least 30 years experience to work in my kitchen. I did not take into consideration the fact that they look almost identical, but that's okay. You know what? That'll be their gimmick. We also have Kiyu. She's back, which I'm really happy about. I think that's everybody. You can have one hostess, you can have three waiters, and two chefs. That's the max. So we are at maximum capacity, and they're all pretty well trained now. So other than that, I think we're good to start uh, having some people show up. We have a lot of gray-haired people. Who are all of these people? I don't know, I don't recognize any of them. They're all gray-haired. That is so creepy. Even, even Papa Smurf. What is going on? Is this Elder's Day or something like that? Okay, well, we're gonna welcome as many of them as we can. That is really creepy. I have no, maybe that's why Death was lurking around. I think I saw him uh, down the road. Is he still playing chess? Yeah. He's just kind of hanging around waiting for somebody to drop dead. We have so many customers and only one hostess. That's a real problem. You can't hire more hostesses and you really need more. But I've actually come up with a little bit of a system that'll hopefully fix this. Normally, I open the store and then as soon as a few people show up right away, I'll just allow new customers because it'll take us the full eight hour shift just to get through these. I mean, we've already been open for two hours and we've only seated two tables. It's pretty rough. We're already doing pretty well though. We got a couple of foresters. Kevin is gonna come over and check on them. How how you guys doing? How don't try not to drop dead. I saw Grim Reaper around the corner. Uh, welcome. I hope to hear you are having a great meal. Our chef has some serious culinary talent. And that reminds me, yes, because our chefs are both relatively well trained, I have upgraded our menu just a little bit. We don't actually have the five star stuff, and the five star stuff is the stuff that looks really cool, like the volcano lava pasta and stuff like the animated food. So I think my goal for this episode is going to be either to get up to five stars, even just to get one five star rating, or to make it so that our chefs can actually um, cook the best stuff. And because of that, we're actually going to train them. We are going to pay for training, uh, extensive training, $750. That, that's a lot of money, but you know what? You guys are worth it. Ooh, what did you guys get? Did you get something good? Did you get something boring like toast? Okay, he got a plain bagel. That's really exciting, and you got the fish tacos, the Bieber special. You really enjoy it. Quality excellent. Way to go, Master Roshi. I love the way Bigfoot walks. He still walks like a Neanderthal, even though he's now part of civilized society. What did uh, Papa Smurf get? He got the fruit platter by the looks of it. Oh no, the fish trio. That's fish? Papa Smurf, you sure you want to be eating that? Fish shouldn't be purple. Ooh, we got a five star. It's going well. He had the Bieber special, that's why. Oh, and he got up to a four. I don't think I've ever gotten a five-star review before. 
Oh, two five star reviews. Come on, guys. Just just get out. Just give me my five stars and get out. Come on, or or die. Either or. Both work for me. Yeah. Yeah, we did it right off the bat. First customer is a five star review. I can't believe it. That's going so well. Kevin is doing a great job. I only have Kevin working right now. I will bring in the rest of the family eventually, but I found that you just, you really don't need that many managers. It's just unnecessary. If, if anything, they kind of get in the way because they like to talk to people, and then when you talk to them or people that are working, they don't do their job. And I mean, Emma has her real job. She's at, like, police work right now, so Kevin is doing a pretty good job, but I will bring in the rest of the family because this is Shea Sauce, not Shea Kevin. No more customers, Jupiter. We don't want any. No, no, get out of here, Goth or Stark. Or whoever. That's Stark, isn't it? That's Tony Stark. Why are there more customers showing up? I hit disallow new customers. They're still showing up. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Darth Vader seems to be on a very important date with Stephen Harper. Either way, it went well. I can only imagine how much evil those two are going to be up to. What's broken over here? Something is sparking. Oh, I can't see. Oh, maybe it's on the outside? Oh, our, our sign is broken. Oh, Kevin, you need to get on top of that. Uh, laugh at broken sign. No, Kevin, it's yours. Go outside and replace it or repair it. Oh, that actually reminds me. I've been playing with the walls down, so you guys haven't actually been able to see. But I do have stuff on the walls, including these um, banners, which represent the family. Oh, Kevin, somebody stole your... Are you kidding me? Somebody stole Kevin's banner. There were supposed to be six. There was the mama bear for Emma, and there was the hopeless romantic there, which is Tommy, and we had the bookworm for Apple, and the genius for Barbie, and we had the rainbow for happy-go-lucky Evie, and somebody stole Kevin's! Oh, that is such a slap in the face. You see, I knew this was a crappy neighborhood. Is everybody gone? Everybody's almost gone. Okay, we got one table left, and then we're gonna close up, because we've been going for eight hours. Way to go, Q! Look at you, doing work and stuff, you see? This is what happens when you have competent employees. She's doing her best, I'm sure she doesn't have much of a clue what she's doing, because we know Kiyu, let's be honest, she's quite the secluded fairy. But, she's doing her best, that is great. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys up to all five, Stark. Can we, let's welcome them. What are you doing, Stark? You're just kind of hanging out, talking about bears, lunatic. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna praise Kiyu, because she did a good job, she went in she went and fixed that toilet. Didn't she just fix that toilet? No? Okay, um, crap. Can somebody fix that toilet? I just praised you. Oh, I praised the wrong person. Smurfette's gonna fix the toilet now. You tried your best, Kiyu. It's like I said, I know you probably don't know how to fix a toilet, but you tried. All right, everybody is gone. What's this? Is there a book here? Somebody left their homework. Oh no. Should we put that in the lost and found? Stark, you've been walking around talking to people the entire time, and now you want to sit down and have a meal? No, you know what? I've been open for 10 hours. We're closed. Everybody go home. If you, that's another thing that people have been complaining about with the Dine Out Pack, is that they said that everybody would sit down and not bother each other and have a dining experience. People still stand up and eat. People still walk around and bother other patrons. It's still there. It has been fixed. It's a little bit better. So how do we do today? $545, that's pretty good profit. And uh, everybody, yeah, everybody's got their training, so everything is going up. Oh, we forgot to train Sailor Jupiter. Crap. That, uh, can I still get to that? No. Okay, that's fine. She's doing a bang-up job anyway. Which reminds me, actually, we need to, um, we need to fix their clothes. Because I haven't done that yet, and they look kind of silly. It's kind of not what I want them to look like with the buttons and the pins and stuff like that. Whoa. Kevin, Kevin's asleep. Okay, Kevin, Kevin might need to go home. He's been here for like a week, I think. We're probably gonna send Kevin home and then we're gonna open up tomorrow. All right, we're back and now Kevin is rested up and he brought some of the family, not all of the family, because actually Emma works during the times when the restaurant is open, so I don't think we're gonna see a lot of her at the restaurant. So we brought uh, Barbie and Tommy because I want Apple and Evie to kind of run the bakery. I feel like that's their thing. They don't need to be spending as much time at the restaurant. I'm sure we will see them, but I feel like having these three is probably the best way to go about it. I've also managed our employees and come up with some slightly different looking clothes, just a little bit bit less grandma-y, uh, not quite formal, but almost, so you guys will see what that'll look like now. I think we're doing pretty good, you know what? I think it's time we give a little bit of a markup, 200%. We need to be making a little bit more money. We're getting those good reviews now, where you're still doing the gold package and all that stuff. I feel like we have the skills required to make this work, because if I open this up, let's see how everybody's doing. Yeah, look at that, we're like three quarters of the way up, right? 
Yeah, oh god, we're so talented. Okay, let's open this door, get our employees. See, they're gonna show up to work, and I know it, because they're awesome. Oh, I forgot to give you shoes! Oh, that that's a that's a grave oversight by me. <laughs> we'll fix that tomorrow. For now, just try not to get stepped on, okay? I'm sure she'll be fine. Did I give the rest of them shoes? Yes, I gave you shoes. Good, good. Uh, Kevin, you fixed the sign and somehow left a putrid pile of garbage in your wake. Can you go clean that up? Somebody left this here yesterday. Look at that. It's like... Ooh, I don't want to eat that. That looks like a jellyfish died. What on earth? Uh, glacier infused iceberg lettuce. That's lettuce. Right. Okay, we're gonna clean that up because if somebody's gonna come in, they're gonna have to pay for their own. That homework is still there too. Uh, let's transform it. You know what? If uh, somebody's gonna leave it there, that's their fault. Yeah, you guys are looking really good. Far more professional. I like it. What, are we gonna get something good? We can always sell it. I hope it's not big. We turned your homework into... Another book. Playing with your food. Okay, you know what? That kind of fits. Okay, so people are really unhappy with their job right now. I'm getting a lot of complaints, likely because they're overtrained for the level of work that they're doing. So we're gonna give everybody a promotion. We're gonna promote everybody. Manage, promote, uh, manage, promote. That's fine. You know what? Uh, you pay for good service. So I think Barbie, Barbie is gonna promote you right now. Don't be so mad. She's so pissy that she's doing a good job. She's only making like $2 an hour. Here, you're gonna get a promotion. Guess what? Being all pissy and stuff, you're gonna go to the moon, where I'm from. Uh, unless you, you stop being like that. Yes, I knew this day would come. I kept working hard. Thank you, Miss Sauce. <laughs> Never heard anybody call my characters Miss and Mrs. It's hilarious. Uh, I won't let you down. A promotion for me, I, well, of course, it's about time. I mean, thank you, Mr. Sauce, it's an honor. Okay, let's remember to, to promote everybody now. <laughs> to you, you're going to the moon. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, look who's here. Twin Kevin, he's looking buff too. I love that some of the CC Sims show up, but we're still getting a lot of like these random gray haired people that the game generated. So I think what I'm gonna do is between this day and like when we close, I'm gonna delete all of these random generated Sims so that hopefully we have more people like twin Kevin show up because that's far more entertaining. Actually, when I was grinding a little bit to get to where we were, I saw some things that I, you know, I took screenshots. I saw Candy go on a date with a stripper that we tried to hook her up with, and I thought that that was so incredibly cute. I couldn't believe it. I was really hoping to see more of that kind of stuff in the episode. And then the next day, I saw her a little bit upset and not return to the restaurant with them. So that happened, and I feel real bad, and we might need to have an episode where we help Candy out with her romance life again, because we might have steered her wrong. But either way, that's the kind of stuff that I want to see more of. Again, Darth Vader is showing up with Stephen Harper. What are you guys planning? Some kind of, like, terrible conservative Death Star? And Stark is back, and he's standing and bothering people, like... I know you're technically, okay, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. Tommy, this is this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna get you to change to Everyday 2. Can you do that for me real quick? There we go. Now we're gonna go have a word with Mr. Stark. Let's welcome him and just give him the right idea. I just want him to understand that you need to sit down and shut up and pay for some food. Uh, we can't reach him. He, he's unreachable, untouchable. Miss is very unsatisfied with her job. Oh crap, did we forget to promote you? I'm sorry, I thought we got to everybody. Promote, yeah, we didn't. She's still making $2 an hour, that's my bad. You know what, I didn't intend to do that. We will have uh, Tommy come over, where's Tommy? Tommy still dresses Iron Man. And, and for some reason, Bigfoot is uh, dancing. Why are you dancing? Yeah, we're gonna promote you. Everything is gonna be all right. Thank you, I've been working really hard. I'm so happy you've noticed, great. Okay, I feel really good about doing that. Whoa, what happened over here? Um, what did, I'm not very happy about the wait times. Ah, there's nothing, I can't do anything about that. Damn it, okay, you know what? Oh, they gave me one stars, you assholes. See, this is why I'm gonna delete you. Everybody else is having a great time. Hell, look at Papa Smurf, he's just sitting here eating his uh, pita and hummus and drinking something delicious. Uh, run oolong. I don't know, it's probably some kind of weird smurf drink. 
See, this feels so much better. I know I was down on the Dine Out pack, and it was because that there are so many limitations in place when starting off. You just need to kind of play the game to get past them. I mean, we almost have every seat filled. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Things are still happening. I mean, people are still dropping food and doing mistakes and stuff like that, but at least he was bringing, um... Uh, stuff to empty tables. This is probably Stark's table, isn't it? Where are you, Stark, you wandering idiot? But like I was saying, it's just fun to see everything work more efficiently. I get to kind of focus on the characters and less on trying to grind during the episodes. We've been open for eight hours. We need to get this food out so I can close. Tommy! What's the matter? What the hell happened? Your sad Iron Man caught the love of his life flirting with another. Are they joking around or just losing interest? Oh no! Bella Goth must have been flirting with her ex-husband. Awkward. Where did Twin Kevin go? I never actually caught... I didn't keep my eye on him. He must have just came and left. Okay, either way, this was a successful day. I um, I guess we're just gonna wait for everybody to kind of get their five-star reviews in, and then we're gonna close. I'm gonna open tomorrow, hopefully without all these gray-haired idiots. Big is very unsatisfied with his job. Big, you just got a promotion, like, today. You were literally promoted today. I'm 99% sure of that. You are already a level two waiter. I guess because I trained them up so much, they expect to be level three now. But either way, man, don't get on my nerves. I can replace you. I'll send you back to the forest I found you in. Sailor is very unsatisfied. God, my employees are having an uprising. This is what happens when you have a CC character union. Everybody gets a promotion. More promotions. Promotions for everybody. I'm just raining down promotions. You know what? If you guys keep doing a good job, I won't mind. Because look at this. We got customers leaving with five-star reviews. And we're up to four and a half stars. Oh, I've been recording for an hour. But I don't care how long this episode is going to be. I want to get that five-star tomorrow. So I think Emma has the day off work. We are going to bring her here, and then we are going to open up shop. And actually, now that I think about it, we have not had a fire in the history of Shea Sauce. D don't jinx it, but it hasn't happened. I, I honestly can't even believe it. We're going for that five star today. And actually, I just unlocked um, the ability to give an inspirational speech. So we're going to open up, and we're going to start off with Kevin giving an inspirational speech. I guess I can't give that to... These guys, no, because you guys are fellow managers. I need to give it to um, the employees. Oh, I forgot to give Sailor Jupiter shoes. That's my bad. Okay, Kevin, let's see that inspirational speech. I was really hoping I could get everybody grouped around to do it. But she looks sad. Kevin, if you want to be inspirational, you should look at them. You're, you're looking at me. You want to look at her. She's entertained anyway. 110% after a speech like that, I'm giving 120. Okay, Kevin, we need to do that to the chefs because they're the ones that are the real issue here. You look at you go. God, she is fixing everything. It's like I said, I don't think she actually knows how to fix anything, but she's doing a great job trying. And I appreciate that. Oh, it worked! Yes! I knew it! All right, so, we actually have a bunch of our CC characters showing up. We have Miss Pac-Man, we have Sexy Linda, Black Widow, Bob Pancakes is rummaging through my garbage. <laughs> Get the hell out of there, you dumpster diver! Uh, I'll call the cops. Kill him, Kevin! Yeah, you want to go diving around in my dumpster, do you? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't treat a customer that way, but you know what? He's not gonna thaw out to give me a bad review. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me! Ooh, Tony, you grease bag. You're taking Clara Bjornsson out on a date? She's married, dude. That's not okay. I mean, we won't judge. Just be sure to tip your waiter. Hey, Clint showed up. I'm really happy to see him more, you know? I wasn't really sure if he was gonna be around a whole lot after that whole alien abortion thing. But, you know, it's good to see that he bounced back. And Candy's here. Uh, she's getting flirty with somebody. Did you bring a date, Candy? Are you going on a date with Clint? That would be adorable. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Was she flirty with Barbie? Ooh, I didn't think that friendship was the way it was going. I don't think Barbie's super interested. Oh, and Jack Frost and Elsa Frost are being all cute and stuff. This is why I love bringing characters that I actually know. No, did you drop food? Oh, come on, I just gave you two promotions. That's good food. Just just scoop it back up. This stupid little kid will never know. Scavenge for parts. <laughs> Can we scavenge and put some back in? No. Go, go put that out by Bob Pancakes. Kevin, what are you doing? Are you just watching him? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Oh, she came by herself. That is so depressing. I can't even sit down with her. <laughs> Can we comp her food? Can I just give her free food? 
I want, I want to give her, when, when her meal comes out, I'm going to give her free stuff because I feel really bad. She's a family friend. You know what? The family friends get free food and the family enemies get frozen out by the dumpster. Whoa, 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 Tatum. Where do you think you're going? No, no shirt, no service. That's not how we work around here. Yeah, you know what? Maybe a little service. You're, you're a friend. I'd also like to point out that the goth family is here without the husband. Oh, no way. They're here talking about their relationship. Oh, God, he's back. Roberto. Okay, uh, let's check on the table. We need to check to see how this is going. Yay! <laughs> I don't know how this is going, but this is the kind of story progression that I love. Tommy, stop looking at me. Look at them. Okay, Bigfoot's got your food. I also have Bigfoot wearing gloves so that he doesn't get hair in the food. Ooh, okay, she got the... Oh, no, she got the Franks and Beans. You don't want to be farting in front of your stripper date. What you doing out there, Bigfoot? I think Bigfoot is on Bob Pancake Guard now. He's just kind of, he actually looks really sad. He's like, you know what? I've been there, man. It hurts. People don't understand what it's like to get frozen by the sauces. I, f I, I feel you. That fridge is breaking all the freaking time. I swear Kiyu is always fixing that. <laughs> Kevin, can we upgrade it? How about that? Oh, he, he broke out. He, he broke out. Kill him, Bigfoot. Rip his arms off. Okay, never mind. Um, we are going to, can we upgrade it? I can't upgrade it right now. Because it's broken. Okay, is it fixed now? She didn't fix it. Did she try to fix it and not? Oh, God, she still didn't fix it. Okay, Kevin, go fix it and then upgrade it so it stops breaking. Because I think that's delaying us. And I mean, we're doing good. Ooh, Clint out on a date with crazy lunatic Miss Pac-Man. You could have done better, man. Like, what do you even say when Stephen Harper and Barack Obama show up to dinner? Do you think they're still friends? Do you think they still talk? I have a feeling they don't. Stephen Harper is a bit of a wiener. I have a feeling Brock just deleted his number the second he got overtaken. <laughs> Bigfoot's like, what can I get for you, Mr. President and wiener? Bow, chicka, wow, wow. There are so many five stars in here right now. Oh God, no, don't give me a four. What do you mean you're upset with the weight? Your food is right there. You got your pizza, your Master Roshi excellent pizza. Candy's gonna give us a five. That's what matters most. Candy's gonna go take a dump first, then she's gonna give us a five. I think some of them might be broken. I'm not really sure why. They're just kind of standing here, and I can't actually, and it doesn't actually matter because five stars! Yeah, we did it! Oh, that is so freaking cool. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. And a lot of people asked me last episode, what were my overall thoughts on the Dine Out pack? And I feel like I've expressed them pretty well over this episode, but for $20, I feel like it's well worth it. It does have a lot of bugs. It does have a lot of issues. It might conflict with some mods or something like that but overall it gives you a lot more stuff to do and the stuff that it gives you to do is a lot of fun it, it, that's really all there is to it it takes a little bit of grinding but once you get there it is a really fun pack and there's more for us to do next episode I do want to return to the dine out pack but I think I want to be done with Shea sauce for now I think we will return to it eventually but I want to see what it's like from the customer perspective either having Tommy take the woohooers out on a date or having Kevin take Emma out on a date something like that I want to go to a restaurant maybe we'll go to one fancy one and one kind of crummy one and see what it's like. I have a feeling there's a lot more stuff for us to do and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Harry, Harry Kettle. I'm a little kettle, short and stout. And then we need to add the hair just like that. Can you buy leather jackets that look like my own skin? <laughs>